Hello everybody and welcome to another Web Tools video. Today we're going to finish up our Pixlr series by showing you how to imprint an image onto text. So in this example here, I have this nice little wintry scene. And if I deselect one of my layers here, you can see I have the word Mary there underneath and that image is kind of imprinted on there. And I could move those that, that word, I could move it over to something else if I wanted to. Um, but that's an example of what you can do. Let me show you how to do that using this new image here. So we'll just go ahead and put Merry Christmas into here. And um, to get started, all I'm going to do is I'll start out. So I have my original layer right here. I'm going to duplicate this layer just so that I have a, a clean slate to work with and I'm not going to mess up my original image. But I'll go ahead and hide my original layer. So now I need to add my text. So if I come right over here on my toolbar to the type tool, click on that and click in my uh, anywhere in my image, really. It doesn't matter. We'll move it later. And I'll just type Mary and then we'll hit enter and do Christmas. Want that centered. You could do it in two different words if you wanted, if you wanted to uh, be able to have a little more control over where you're placing your images, or you could even do it letter by letter if you wanted to do that. Um, in this example, we're just going to do the whole word at once. So now that I have my text where I want it, by the way, you can resize the text if you want to. And sometimes people will have, you'll have a problem with the text. It won't resize properly. I'll show you how to fix that. So if you hit okay, now I have my text in there. Um, if you, if you're trying to make your text larger and it won't make, become any larger. What you'll have to do is come over to your layer. You'll right click on your layer and come down to rasterize layer. Okay. Now you notice that kind of adjusted my layer. It changed it um, so that it's now a, a, a kind of a rastered text there, but I, I can still make that larger. The only, except it's not text. So I can't really type in there. The way I'm going to make that larger is while I have the layer selected over here, I'm going to come right up here to edit come down to free transform and it will give me those blue handles. And if I select that corner handle and hold the shift, I'm allowed, uh, I'm able to uh, change that proportionally. We'll put it right there. Cool. So now that I have my text, yeah, go ahead and apply the changes. Now that I have my text, I need to select it. And the easiest way to do this is using the magic wand tool right over here. So if I click on this and um, I, I'm going to do this without having a contiguous uh, line. If you do have this checked, you'll basically have to select every letter. Okay, so you'll have to select every letter and all the little thin lines in between. But I'm going to uh, instead uncheck that box. And if you watch this, when I select this, it now pretty much selects everything that I want all in one go. Um, and if you need to learn more about what the magic wand tool does, uh, we have another video on selections. Whoops. I was going to zoom in here because we are missing just a tad. So if I click on hold shift right there, there we go. Now this may not be perfect, but it gives you an example of how it's done. The selection process, it might be a little hairy, um, but if you spend more time on your selections, you can get a better image. But once I have my selection from here, it's really pretty easy. All I have to do is it, I could even uncheck this layer so I could, I could make it invisible there and then come down to my, my image layer that I want to use the image that I want to imprint on my text. I'm going to right click while I have that selection still available. And here we'll throw my light on there. So right click, come down to add layer mask. And that's all it is. Now we have text on our image. And if I turn this image on in the background, you can see it kind of, it's the same image, right? Now, if you want to, if you're really wanting to polish this off, finish it, save it as an image or whatever, you can delete any layers you, you don't need. Um, and then go ahead and apply the layer mask right here. Oops, right click, apply layer mask, and now it's all one image. So if I save this, I'll have a transparent image with this Merry Christmas. And it's something that could be fun. It would take a little more time, but you could do each letter, make it bigger. Because when, when your letters are this small, you honestly, you can't really even see what my image is. You can't really tell it's a Christmas tree. But if you make each letter maybe as big as the image, you can create some really fun pictures and some really cool effects. Hi, thanks for watching another Web Tools video and supporting our channel. After the video, if you still have a question about something we talked about, be sure to leave a comment or hit us up on our channel. And of course, if you're interested in learning how you can use your browser to its full potential, don't forget to subscribe below. 